Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. This video let's prove theorem 1.2.2, uh, which is a property for a homogeneous linear system. And the theorem says a homogeneous linear system with more unknowns than equation has an infinite many solution. For example, one equation, but we have more than one unknown, like two unknowns, two variables, one equation, of course. Uh, we have infinitely many. Okay. However, this uh, only work for a uh, homogeneous linear system. Okay. Imagine it's only homogeneous. Because non-homogeneous sometimes is uh, inconsistent. Why? Uh, this is the important result. Let's see why. It's simple. We only need this result. Uh, we have before the number of uh, leading variables plus the number of uh, free variables equals the, the number of uh, total unknowns okay. right the unknowns uh, is the total variables you can see so we only need to use this result okay, use this result so now you just uh, look at it uh, here the number of leading variables. So how do you define the leading variable? Leading variables data from the reduced the row echelon. And then look at the leading one. So this is just equal as well. And this part is just equal to the number of uh, leading ones okay, in the reduced the row echelon. Um, and then the number of unknowns. So we see first there uh, it says the system has more unknowns than the equation. Let me say this is more. It means greater than uh, the number of uh, equations. Is that okay? And then, uh, how many leading ones do we have? Each leading one is from each equation. So therefore, the number of the leading ones should be no more than the number of equations. Can you see? This should be no more than, which is less than or equal to the number of uh, equations. Does that make sense? The, look at these two parts here and here. So the right side should be bigger than the first term. So we should find it, the results for the second. Okay, so what is this? Definitely, this should be greater than zero, right? So uh, we can solve so the number of uh, three variables uh, is greater than or equal to one so at least one free variable right so at least one free variables exist what that is mean this means uh, the system has infinitely many solution uh the system as infinitely many solutions because uh, the free variable we can set up into uh, infinitely many variables and infinitely many values right so that's all thank you